This is Plot and Pulse for Friday, January 28th. The moon is in Sagittarius. Today, I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine. I like the idea of the moon in Sagittarius. It's the reality. That's it's the reality that's sometimes scary. Well, you know, the thing is, is that Sagittarius is the centaur. It's the hunter with the arrow aimed towards the heaven. And so even though we have a life here down on earth that's grounded, that has circumstances that we may not be able to change, we can, in our mind, we can, we can rise above it all. We can aim our thoughts high into the sky and we can expand ourselves and lift ourselves. Oh, doesn't this sound wonderful? Outside of the realms of the possibilities here, even if it's totally fantasy. Yeah, absolutely. But that's the function of Sagittarius is to lift our emotions and lift our minds higher. But the backside of the dark side of that is escape from reality. Rick is a fiery Sagittarius. He I'm a fiery Aries. A fiery Aries, excuse me. He loves the Sagittarius stuff. I'm a Taurus. I don't want promises of food two weeks from now. I want my food, my cookies, and my comfort right now. So Sagittarius is a little bit more difficult for me. But today, that moon in Sagittarius makes two harmonious aspects or connections with other planets that strengthens its positive characteristics. Well, actually, early in the day, it makes a trine with its own ruling sign, with Sagittarius's ruling sign, uh, Jupiter. And then later in the day, uh, the moon forms sextiles, which is a 60 degree angle. That's an angle of opportunity and, and, and support. And the moon makes a uh, 60 degree sextiles with the sun and Mars that are, yeah, this is energy. The sun and Mars are tracking very close to each other right now. Um, in Aquarius, they'll be doing it all the way through the, for the next couple of weeks. They've been doing it for the last week or so. And there's this sense of the energy that we have can follow through with these big ideas, but they still may not come to fruition. Well, I I think the idea is if you can live in the future or work towards the future, today is a great day. But if you're stuck in the present or rolling around in the past, it can be a bit more challenging. I'm Jeff Jowell. And I'm Rick Levine, inviting you to join Jeff and me here every day to check on how the planets are pulsing here on Planet Pulse.